I'm going to take you on a little tour of the fish that you can find in these, some of these localities, beginning with the downstream localities that are referred to as high predation localities. What you're looking at here are two of the types of predators that guppies co-occur with. The long slender fish are pike cichlids, Crenocicla alta. There's one adult here and two uh, adolescents. And these, we think, are some of the most devastating predators on guppies. They're diurnal, they have very sharp vision, and they seem to have a good taste for guppies. The more disc-shaped fish is another type of cichlid. This is Equidens pulcher. It's called the blue acara in the pet industry. And it, we think, is a less serious predator on guppies. In the foreground is a catfish, Coriodorus aeneas. It's a very common pet store fish, and it's one that you also find in the lower reaches of, the, of these rivers, down where the rivers are flat before they begin to climb into the mountains. Another fish that's illustrated here is an armored catfish here, Hypostomus plecostomus. This also is a common pet store fish, and it's found in the high predation localities. It's quite abundant, but it also goes further upstream. These fish don't all fall out at this, in the same order as we go from downstream to upstream. The pike cichlid Crenocicla alta turns out to be one of the poorest dispersers and one of the first to disappear as we go from the lowlands into the mountains. The catfish, Coriodorus, also disappears pretty quickly. But then the equidens and the armored catfish extend much further upstream. The most common category of fish in the downstream localities, the high predation localities, are what the natives refer to collectively as sardines. These are tetras, or fish in the family, the caracin family. And this is one particular species, Hemibrichon dentatum, which has a yellow tail. There can be up to six species of caracins present, and the caracins are a schooling fish. They're the most abundant and conspicuous fish in these rivers, and some of them can be pretty devastating predators on guppies. They fall out at different levels in the stream. Some of them fall out right away, along with the Corridors and the Crenocicla. Others, like this one, extend much further upstream. Finally, in the highest elevation localities, we get communities that have only four species of fish, which are illustrate, three of which are illustrated here. One is the catfish, Ramdia, that's illustrated right here. The other is the killifish. We have two killifish right up here. These are the ones that make it furthest into the headwater streams. In fact, they're the last fish standing in the very small tributaries. And then we've added, for purposes of scale, the guppy. There's some small guppies swimming behind the killifish right up here, just to give you a sense of how big guppies are relative to the killifish. And then the fourth fish, which isn't pictured here, is an eel in the genus Sinbrancus. They are very hard to find and very secretive, but we know that they're present in most of these high elevation streams.